Anka-3 unmanned combat aircraft, which made its first flight in recent months, was seen for the first time with its new paint job. Anka-3, the second product developed by Turkey in the field of unmanned combat aircraft, continues its testing activities successfully. Anka-3, the first Turkish air platform developed in flying wing architecture, was displayed for the first time with its new paintwork. In the new image of Anka-3, it was seen surrounded by white lines on the fuselage. Anka-3, which has undergone multiple test flights to date, had a completely dark gray paint. It is considered that aesthetic purposes, rather than technical ones, were effective in the aircraft's new image. The first flight of Anka-3, the third member of TAI's Unmanned Aerial Vehicles UAV, family, lasted 1 hour and 10 minutes. In this flight, Anka-3 reached an altitude of 8,000 feet and reached a speed of up to 150 knots. Anka-3, which cut off the runway at 8.38 in the morning on December 28, also performed the runway bypass test, known as Touch and Go, during this first flight. Anka-3, the new generation UAV system, provides reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence, attack with different air ground munitions, hunting for prey by engaging enemy helicopters, propeller planes and UAVs with air-to-air -air ammunition, neutralizing enemy RF emitting radar and air defense systems, protection of friendly forces in the air and on land, signals and communications intelligence, electronic warfare, it will be able to perform many tasks such as operation and communication relay together with other friendly elements. The Anka-3 system will be able to carry 650 kilograms of ammunition at each of the two stations inside the fuselage, 650 kilograms of ammunition at each of the inner wing stations, and 100 kilograms of ammunition at each of the outer stations. Thus, one of the most frequently used ammunition in today's unmanned aerial vehicles, many options can be integrated, including large munitions such as SOMJ, MK-82 and miniature bomb.